Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Fiend Folio. Today we are going to jump in as Tainted Blue Baby because there has been some updates to our chubby, poopy little lad with Fiend Folio. Apparently Fiend Folio has added some, 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 blah, 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 some unique poops. We can already see one of them off the bat here. This seems to be some sort of cursed poop. I'm guessing this is like, okay, we need to try and utilize him a bit, a bit better than throwing him directly at. But yeah, there's been some new stuff. Uh, oh, you've you've got to be kidding me, but you know I've got to take it because it's such a good stat upgrade, like, early game. I regret taking this item every single time I take it, but y'all know me. I'll do it for the Zane. We got another guy? Okay, let's try and kill you. But I actually genuinely really like Blue Baby. Uh, I do wish that he got the, the non-tinted versions ability to get the cheaper devil deals but at the same time i understand he is already getting quite a lot oh that's kind of nice we are as you can clearly see using ipecac mod as i'm not gonna take that drink it though uh, uh, we are right now using uh, ipecac mod as well as repentance plus i um i changed around some of my mods i uninstalled some ones that i felt weren't as necessary oh god no oh god this is so many of these enemies are you kidding me are you kidding me? Um, oh lord, this is gonna be tough. Okay, one of them died via explosion, nice. Can we explode this barrel here by any chance at this box? Maybe? This should blow up all of these, right? Not quite, but this might get it. Yes! Okay, yeah, so I am playing with Repentance Plus and Fiend Folio on, uh, and I've kind of tweaked around my mod setup a little bit. Now, this might end up being, by the way, what does this poop do? Okay, so this poop is the, um, it's like the watery poop. And then, okay, it doesn't do anything other than, like, slide around. It seems to just be an extra poop to use. Okay, we do have this here, which is going to be pretty good. I'm just going to take the damage, honestly. Save us the, the, the heartache of that room um but yeah it might end up being a little bit of an ill decision to to, to add these mods on just because of the frame rate but i want to try it i want to see how it goes I've, like i said i tweaked my mod setup oh god and i feel like dude could you get away from me please could you get away from me please um i feel like we could maybe get something going on oh god the guillotine 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 or guillotine, as some people call it. Ugh, guillotine. It's called a guillotine, not a guillotine. Stop. Anyways, <laughs> enough outrage. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to play a few runs with it. I'd really like to use them permanently, so I'm going to hope that I can. Slidey poop. Let's go. Yeah, I'll try and see what the um, what this poop does. Does it? Does this aura do... Probably the worst room to use it in because these enemies are no longer going to run into it. <laughs> okay, so with this poop, we want to be using it for the creep, I think. Let's try and corral this guy into the curse poop and see what it does. Okay, it does just fear them. Okay, that's decent. That's useful. Uh, as for the question of the day today, this one's a, maybe a little bit of a hard-hitting one, but I'm going to ask it anyways. When was the last time you cried and why? Because today, I cried. And my, my reasoning was not exactly a, a proper reasoning. It wasn't... It, no, it was. I mean, any time you cry, it's a proper cry. doesn't matter how small the reason might be. Anyways, I watched a video on YouTube, and it was called something like, um, It's Just a Video Game or something. And basically, it was like a compilation of, like, really emotional moments um, and, like, hard-hitting moments in different video games. And there was a few Last of Us ones in there, as well as a few other games that I played in my childhood. And God damn... The music, plus just seeing that again. I, I wasn't expecting it, but it proper set me off. It proper it proper set me off. Don't normally get anything like that myself, but... Well, this this mulligan's looking interesting. Is this, does this mulligan do anything new, or is it just a re-sprite? Okay, it is a new one, okay. I was thinking it looked like a new one. Um, Yeah, it just, it just set me off out of nowhere. I really wasn't expecting it, but... I don't know, I... I enjoyed it, which is weird to say, but... I, I did enjoy it. It was, um, it was nice. <laughs> it just, and it was like right at the start of my day as well. So it's like a weird way to start the day. It was like literally one of the first videos I watched when I woke up. Uh, but at the same time, like, I, I kind of needed it. <laughs> I think that, I think I was predisposed 
to have the cry because I needed it. And I didn't, like, I didn't really need it for anything like specific. It wasn't like I'm going through anything really tough or anything. But work's just stressful at the moment. And it's just life, you know? So it was just nice to have like a moment. So with these poops, I don't really know how to use them properly. We definitely want to be using the creep, I think. This is funny. I wonder if these guys can like bury into, um, let's try and destroy all the other poops here. Will you bury your face into, um, into the stone poop? Nope, you won't. Okay. Interesting. Must be, it must have to be poops that spawned in the room. But I wonder if there's going to be any like super poops. Oh God, this room is already very treacherous. But already very treacherous. We do get some blue flies in here, which is rather nice. We got a devil poop here. By the way, can you normally see your upcoming poops as a scar? Is that a new thing? Devil poop. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown it directly out, should I? Definitely going to use a bomb here. Oh, that makes our life so much easier. Let's hold one of these poops. I'm probably using them a little wrong here. But it's okay. Yeah, I think you... Can you normally see the upcoming ones? I feel like that's new. Celestial crown here is pretty interesting. We get our little, little orbitals going on here. I like that a lot. Um, and then with you, I think I'm just going to do that. And that's going to kill you pretty much instantly. Just give us a ton of poopies. Right. Let's keep her going there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, I realized that that question of the day might be one that some people um, don't want to answer. Or it might be for reasons that are sad. <laughs> but I don't know. It's the first one that came to mind. My reasoning's a little more... I don't know how to describe it, like, not sad? <laughs> it's the best way. I mean, it, it's definitely sad, otherwise I wouldn't be crying, but, like, it is not sad also, because it's, like, not something horrific. <laughs> it's just a video, but, you know. <laughs> Humans are weird. Ooh, interesting room here. Um, oh, I forgot about the bloody explosions. I'm definitely going to have an early death as this guy, by the way, so just get ready for that. Get some, get some of that on you. Okay. Got the box. We got a nice, oh, nice amount of money here. Really hoping the box gives us a soul heart, but I bet it won't. It didn't, but it did give us this, which I don't know how this works with this guy, but I imagine it could be good. Um, We got two dimes. Did we go to our shop? We did. I don't think there was anything I wanted in it, so let's just keep going. So far, so good, though. Health is bad, but otherwise good. So, I wonder if the chance for black poops has a chance to transform the poops we throw. Oh, I'll keep throwing those ones directly at, by, by accident. Yeah, I don't know if it uh, has a chance to change black poops into the ones we throw, or just gives us an increased chance of finding the black poops when we go to throw them, sort of thing. When we pick up... Let's hold that. By the way, the celestial crown thing, I think it's when we shoot through... Um, oh, wait. Is this one sulfuric acid? It is. Okay. We can do some interesting stuff now with that. So we got sulfuric acid. We've got fists. We've got rubber cement and a parasite. And we've got... What else, what else is this? Are, are, the, are these both sulfur? They might, they might be both sulfur. Either way, it's a good item. I like it. Good. <laughs> I love how slidey they are. Ooh, random chance to spawn blue skulls when firing a tier morbid hearts for a slightly higher chance of appearing. Decent. Um, let's crack this open, see if we get anything good. Toy shovel has a chance to dig up a chest when used. That sounds good to me. It's only a chance, but still. So I can, like, set that up. I mean, rooms like this, it's completely useless. I can set that up as, like, a way to, um... Oh, balls. Balls, balls, balls. We are in for some trouble. I think we're going to die on this run. It's a, it's a good run, but... Guillotine. Guillotine. Why do I take you? 
You are the bane of my existence, truly. Stars card doesn't do anything for us right now. Yeah, a little bit sad here. But the shop shall save us if we make it to it. That's good. Okay, that was a good clear of that room. Hey, we got a chest that time as well. Oh my god, we got another chest. Magician. It could save us. Do you know what? What on earth are you? Whatever you are, you need to get gone because you are creating some wackiness right there. That's really cool. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to end up killing myself, aren't I? Okay, that the creep did work that time. Good. The devil poop. Okay, I think the enemies in the devil poop radius just die after a short time. This is the room that we die in. I knew it. Anyways, let's play again. Let's play again. A death will not put us off. One second. Ooh, we have like an aura around us here. Um, one second. Right, let's continue on. We did get a library off that. So this is, we're holding a poop that's giving us an aura. I'm not quite sure what this aura does, but using it removes the aura. Not quite sure how that one's working. I like being able to see our upcoming poops here. It's very nice. Ooh, Mum's Raids is pretty good. I like that a lot. Um, Treasure disc we might as well just use. We got a genie's lamp and a bunch of... I don't actually see what we had there. Yeah, these guys don't move all that much. Oh, we got Doom there for some reason. Oh, we must have got the toy piano. I'm hoping we get a, a bomb poop somewhere soon. Whoop. That's tricky. This is a very tricky room, actually, because there's a lot of detritus in the way. And I got shot by something, and I'm not sure what. That didn't kill you. Why? We need more bombs. Okay, so we do have some bombs further down the line here. If we can manage to get to them. Okay. Them guys are pretty good to bleed, because as soon as they start doing their super speed movement, we can take them out pretty quick. We got one of these machines. Don't see them very often, but they're pretty cool. Right. I really should have tried to get some creep there, but honestly, actually, creep wouldn't have done much. We do have Sissy helping us out here. I'd very much like to um, bleed you. I managed it, because that was gonna, as I was say, that's gonna do a ton of damage. I'm taking so much damage myself here. Dude! Why do I keep getting hit? I think Blue Baby is just cursed for me. I always have bad runs as him. And also, we got another goddamn terrible boss to start us off with a cube of meat. Why? Every time. Every time. We also didn't go and look at our library. So let's first of all, let's um, bomb this. It gives us a soul heart back at least. Throw that out. Right, let's see what we get from here. We get the Bible... We get the Necronomicon, and we get the uh, Bedtime Story. I think Bedtime Story is genuinely one of the best ones there. It's the one that slows things down. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll keep that on us. Let's keep moving on. It's the first time in a while I've had one of these runs where I just have like a super early death. But it, it happens from time to time, doesn't it? Sometimes you get some of those runs where you just have a death pretty much instantly. Especially, I don't know, like I said, Blue Baby for me is just one of those characters that... I have a really hard time, like, not getting hit as him, despite the fact that, like, it's just as easy to not get hit as him as everyone else. Oh, we got an active, unfortunately. Pile of bones. It's a pretty interesting active, um, but not really what we're looking for right now. But yeah, bedtime story. Basically, it puts everything to sleep, and then our first hit on that enemy that's asleep does double damage. So it basically it lets us get, like, a lay of the land, understand the room a bit more, but then also gives us a bit of extra damage on those enemies. So if we can get ourselves up to a high level of damage, it's going to be really good. Uh, we'll listen poop there. I can't believe that managed to hit me. Good for you, sunshine, I guess. It's like, enemies like this. Dude! You were asleep and you jumped. That's not be able to, supposed to be able to happen. And then these guys went to sleep underground, which is fair. We might die again here. 
But we could see all the new poops, so I don't care. Well, that was easy. And we got an eternal heart out of it. Nice. Okay, keep it going. We do have um, some bombs available if we need them. So is it is it like a good idea to do this sort of stuff? It might well be. I really like that book. It's very good. Especially when we get 2020 out of it as well. That makes it muy bien very good. Okay, nice. I was trying to get a secret room there, but it didn't work. I used my book for some reason there. Would have been great on this room. So I don't know why I used it, but I did. Although, this room was reasonably solved by that poop. Very nice. Come here, you. Go death. Got a chest over there somewhere I might be able to get. Nice. The bomb poops, we're getting a lot of them. Like, way more than normal. And there you go. Look at that. A beautiful little soul heart for me here. Walk up to you and fart on you while you're sleeping. It's the only kind thing you can do. God, th th those enemies' faces kind of scare me. <laughs> we do have the ability to go to our shop. I think we probably should. I think we're lacking some je ne sais quoi on this, uh, on this one here. Especially considering we missed out on an item room. Essentially. That's pretty good, especially get getting it before the boss. We can also take a soul heart as well here. Puts us in the, uh, in the green. Or in the blue, should I say? Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Puts us in a good spot. We don't have our book, but honestly, the book isn't as useful on the bosses anyways. Aha. Beautiful. And then we get Squeezy. I think both of these are the... Okay, so Binky is a bigger tears up. So I am more tempted by Binky. Let's go with Binky. It's a bigger tears up. Uh, and then we'll, we'll definitely stick with Angel Deal here. But so far, so good. Definitely getting the choice of items there was good. I realized both of those were pretty one and the same. One was a little bit less tears for one extra soul heart. One was one less soul heart for a bit of extra tears. So kind of one of the same there. Ooh, I love the rework on these enemies. I always forget they changed. Sleeping made this room significantly easier. Because it kept every enemy, like, close to each other, so they all died in one fell swoop. Okay, nice. I like the little lily pads that we got going around here on the water. They look really nice. Ooh, also, that is something I had not considered. We can way more easily use Mum's Razor when enemies are asleep. Like, way more easily. And especially on a lot of these enemies, it's super, super good. We see an enemy that we know moves around a lot. We really ought to utilize Mum's Razor there. How did you hit me, little leech bastard? Dude, you spawned a leech on me. You can't be doing that. Thanks for the key. Mutant Spider. It's, it's definitely a bit risky because of the fire rate down, but I think overall it's pretty good. I think overall it works for us. So we can do this, and then we can go boop. And then boop. And then you should go over there and die. There you go, and that boops you. You, we can just boop normally. That's pretty good going. Uh, we would have the ability to destroy that right now. Ooh, this is a room I do not like the look of. Yeah, okay, that was a tricky room. Oh, ho, ho. that's a cool one, but very tricky one. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Right, keep moving on. Poop. There it is. Still don't really know what these guys do. They kind of just shoot towards you. They kind of like have these little accelerating split shots. We won't mess with that right now. Okay, this, this wasn't ideal, because we had the, uh, the space to use our mum's razor, but all these bubbles make it basically impossible. I'd like to get another key, please. Thank you. 
Because this will be the alt version of Mutant Spider. Oh no, it won't. No options. Instead of seeing items after defeating a boss, you gain a permanent flat damage boost. That seems kind of interesting. I'm going to take that. Like, it could backfire. No, 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 not not again. again. Hoff. Oh, goddamn Hoff got me. Cyanide. Cyanide's good, though. We got a black out of that. And it's my voice, too. Haha. -ha. One of the reasons I like using Ipecac here. But yeah, I was expecting it to be the uh, Mutant Spider item. I didn't know that the uh, that there was no options. That's an interesting one. I don't really know where I'm going here at the minute. I hate Cares the Blind. It's the worst. I think we're meant to be going this way. The Fear ones don't seem that useful. I think there's definitely some situations in which they're going to be good. But otherwise, they're not amazing. Nice. You're still sleeping. Oh, God. Just a lot of enemies on this floor that I still don't quite understand. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did I make that movement? Oh, dude. That's a hard enemy, too. Thank God we have the Black Heart to save us. This is another room where this is pretty useful. Especially because they kind of, like, move, like, a lot. They kind of teleport. Which classes a lot of movement, which means that they die. We got another key back here, didn't we? Yes. Good. I think this is the right way now. I think we're on the right track. Not quite sure what these frogs do, but we got a tinted rock that I didn't see and a crawl space out of that one bomb. So I'm going to call that a great success. Great success. Ooh, this looks cool. Green key here. This looks really cool. But it didn't really have all that much there for us, to be honest. But it's not a bad trinket considering we don't have one. Because as this character, with this trinket, we can get some extra dips. Which is kind of nice. Right. Here we are. Do you know what? I, I wasn't going to use it, but... These explodey boys plus this dude. Oh my god, he's got so many Zeds above his head. I think every segment of his body has gone to sleep. Look. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Right. With this dude. This is a hard boss. This attack specifically hits me all the time. Yeah. Because he just does... He, I can never quite remember how many of them he does. So it always messes me up. But luckily he is... Not liking the bombs that we're throwing at him right now. There you go. Good, good. And here we just get a uh, good old damage up. Good stuff. It does mean that we're going to miss out on fire rate and health. And fire rate is something we probably need quite badly. But damage is also really good. Like, really, really good. Okay, this is a good boss to do this on because we can then hit you with that and you should kill yourself or at least near to. Oh god. You stood in that creep for a while. You're healthing up, stop. <laughs> then Yum Heart, wait, does Yum Heart spawn dips? It does not, okay. That would have been good if it did. I might have taken it, but it doesn't. Because dip, dips are really good. They can protect you from, from a lot of damage. And then the hairy boys, I completely misplaced that. I think this one we can maybe get away with this. I wish they, they, they actually did the butt bomb effect. Where they like, stunned all the enemies in the room. But I realise that might be a little strong. Especially with that many of them. But it would be nice, wouldn't it? Carefully you. Not found anything much on this floor so far. Little annoying to get Yum Heart there, and we could have got the virus if it was the non, non big boy version. Oh god, um, I thought you would be asleep, and then I, I shot. Oh lord, that fire shot me too. For some reason, I wasn't expecting the fire to still be around. Like I knew it lasted past the death, but I didn't realize it lasted that long past the death. What? 
Oh, these herming shots are insane. Okay, we got through it. Would I go for a full run reroll right now? Well, it doesn't matter because all we had to do is reroll this one penny into a pill that gives us. Are you a wizard? Per perfection. Perfection itself. Oh, God. A little tricky with Are You a Wizard, but we can manage. Can we manage? Doesn't seem like we can manage. There you go. You're dead. What a great rework of Bleed. Went from, like, one of the most useful, useless things ever to, like, actually pretty damn good. Okay, this is another really hard room here. Let's try and use Poops. Reflected key there. I don't think we need that. Soul cleaver. Put consumables into wisps. Okay, this is pretty good. We got strawberry milk here. Okay, nice. That's a decent one. Yeah, soul cleaver's pretty good. Bedtime story. It was doing as well. But being able to being able to split uh, items into wisps is really nice. Because basically, now whenever we find an item we don't like, we still get value. Which I think is just incredible. Especially with Strawberry Milk. Strawberry Milk is an insanely strong item from Ipecac. I believe it's getting a rework. Ipecac does have a big update in the works. I think they said it's a... Oh, I bombed myself immediately there. I think they said it's about 40% done right now. Um, So it's still got a ways to go. But they said that it's got like 200 or so new things in it to see. Which is pretty awesome. And also they've been working on the performance issues the mod has too which would be really nice. I don't know how much progress they've made with that. It is a tricky beast to fight. But I know that they're working with it, so. Get our damage up, and we finally get an angel deal here. And we get a damage up. Nice. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Our damage is now at the point where it's pretty stonking. Um, and I think we can just fail on this floor. We could try and get the extra charges. Okay, I will do one thing here. I'll at least attempt to get a battery from our uh, shop here. Got some good items in here, to be honest. Some really good items. Um, I'm going to pop that down. We did get the nickel. Hmm. I don't think there's going to be any way for us to get enough charges to do this, but I'm going to take a look anyways. I feel so sluggish right now. Character feels so slow. The carrots. The carrots with faces are back. Still, as, as always with this character, I'm just taking a ton of damage. I am going to check this. Ooh, this is actually pretty insane. Because I can soul cleaver everything in here. Um, I think I ought to do Satanic Bible and just get the, get the heart first. I realize it's for a key, but still. Um, and then yeah, let's do that. And we get a ton of wisps. I don't really know what items we've got in here. We've got Montezuma's Revenge. We've got Charity. We've got Boil Baby. We've got, um, Strawberry Milk. We've got some sort of sack thing, I think. I don't, I don't know. We've got a lot of good stuff there, though. So it was definitely worth the extra exploration that we did here. We've crafted a pretty good run. Of course, these are limited. The limit getting wisps, they will die eventually. But two pretty pretty positive things. One, more items is going to mean higher chance of survival. But also, the actual lemma getting wisps themselves increase our chance of survival because now we can um, avoid damage because the projectiles will hit them before they hit us. Especially now we have a full sweep. We'll definitely take a glass D6 here. Pretty happy with that. We could mama mega, but I don't really see the reason to. We'd find like one secret room from it. Is that really worth it? And in fact, I can probably find the secret room on my own here. Um, I think it's here. Ah, bugger. Wrong way. Anyways, down to the next floor. Um, ooh, actually, actually, actually. Damn. Wait, 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 wait. I might take damage to do this. Yes, I did, but. Oh, we got a soul heart out of it. Anyways, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, don't lose all my wisps in this room, please. But we have a glass D6, so... There you go. That's pretty awesome. We just got salvation out of nowhere. I love that.
Sometimes if the angel deals open, you gotta work with what you got. And luckily for us, it was. And in a, on a run like this where, I'm not going to say it's a bad run, but a run where we're struggling for HP, which as I said, as Blue Baby, I quite often am. Oh, by the way, um, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest, myself. But there's always these things going on on the uh, Binding of Isaac reddits where it's like uh, the like voting for items where each day a different item gets like knocked out. So they did like the best quality 4 item. Um, and this they recently did the worst quality 0 item. Um... And it was voted to be the D10. The the Reddit decided D10 is the item this time around. Which is kind of interesting. Um, I, like, I really don't know what I'd consider myself uh, the, the worst item. I think D10's definitely up there. I kind of wish they'd have done passives and um, actives as two separate lists. Because the thing is, actives are always going to win in that scenario. Because an active is always always going to be worse than a passive because it takes up a slot for what could be another item. Oh, we lost our strawberry milk. I knew it would be the first to go, so we did lose a lot of damage off of the back of that. No, 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 not again. It's me. Huzzah, it's my voice. Burn fellas there. But yeah, it'd be nice to see what, what people considered the worst passive. I don't know what the last passive to get voted out was, to be honest. But the last three were Data Miner, uh, the Clicker, and the D10. The D10 was chosen as the worst, because the Clicker does have some usage, um, and Data Miner does give you the fruitcake effect, so people are like, well... And it can do that glitch where it underflows your tears and gives you insane tear rate. Ooh, this item's very good. Let's just double tap the shop disc. We've got a treasure disc as well here. I think this gives us one at the start of every floor as well. Definitely still need fire rate if we can get it. I'm trying to go to do the boss now while we've got all these extra items. Not sure if any of, them, any of them will even make that much of a difference against the boss, but still. Eternal Heart there, beautiful. Got the Thrashers. Oh, it's it's this, isn't it? It, it just gives you, a, gives you a disc in each boss fight is what it does. We're going to get the free trial expired in just a moment, aren't we? Damn it, I exploded myself again. Someone, please make a mod that stops that from being able to happen. It's the worst. I realize it's completely my own fault and I really have no one but myself to blame. But it's still so fucking annoying. <laughs> How much damage did I just take there? What the hell just happened? I told you, it's Blue Baby. I just can't play well. Oh, God. Got hit again. It's just implausible for me to play well as this character. I don't know what it is. Something about him just turns off a check in my brain to tell me to play right. It's bizarre. It's unfathomable. But it is truly, truly an annoyance. Yeah, cog tears going on here. I like the cog tears. The free trial has expired. Not of our cog tiers, the Ooh, two of these guys. One of them being a boss, one of them not. Also, I didn't actually say, but if we get any Fiend Folio bosses, I believe they have their own um, enhanced boss bar sprites now, which is pretty awesome. Also, there's Abyss Plus Plus locusts for um, the Fiend Folio, flies, uh, Fiend Folio items now, so we can take a look at that soon, too. Pyro is pretty... P Pyro definitely doesn't heal us anymore, but it definitely solves... The issue that I was just talking about with exploding myself. A considerable amount. I no longer have to worry about that. Which is real nice. Real, real nice. Won't be using that right now. Can I actually make use of this? 
I don't think I can. Oh wait, no, I can. Um. Okay. Took a bit of time to get it to do its thing, but it did its thing eventually. Oh my god. The beams of light. We lost all of our lemma getting wisps in the boss fight as well, I think. To be expected, to be honest. Right. Should we get out of here now? There, there is a little bit more to do. Hey, mini boss. We only got a card out of him though. Right, let's get going. Health is back to being absolutely gosh down awful again. But when isn't it? Also, let's just get rid of these out of my cycle so I can save that one. Bottle it up for later. And we go. Okay, pick up a few poops, a few coins, get a few dips, and down we go. God damn, this run's been kind of stressful. I kind of like these runs though. When when you've got Blue Baby and you, you're, you're having to kind of play your best to just... <laughs> yeah, having to play... Like, I say having to play your best. I'm having to play my best to negate me not playing my best. Yeah, I still don't know what this aura does. I'm guessing it's some sort of charm aura, but I can't really figure it out. Oh my lord. Things are moving quick. Okay, Salvation's helping at least. I'm going to keep this aura for a bit. Nightmare Fuel. Spawns one Nightmare Familiar which erratically orbits the player and attacks nearby enemies with homing. Um, familiar respawns each room if it dies. Oh, it's a trinket. Nice. Okay. Give me. Thank you, Nightmare. I love these dudes. They're pretty tricky enemies, but they're really cool. They're only really tricky when they're with other enemies, though, to be honest. Hey, little Nightmare Fuel, I have my own version of you. The Nightmare Fuel's been pretty good. They're doing a lot of knockback and stuff. Oh my god. No way I don't get hit in this room. But somehow, he's done it. Somehow, somewhere, he's made it happen. Right. Come along, my bluest of baby. Don't know how that didn't hit me. Oh, a little diddy spike. <gasps> Whoa, they can jump over gaps now. What happened? <laughs> Normally they can't. Maybe the rework mod did something with that. Okay, let's get rid of this now because we want to actually use some stuff. Oh, God. The bear heads explode. That's a bizarre enemy. The, the bat enemies as well are, like, real tricky. Okay, these guys are resummoners. This is really difficult, because they're, like, using the resummons as blockades. Okay, there you go. We got it. That that was tricky. That was a really cool, uh, really cool uh, room of enemies there, though. Okay, here, I'm just going to, like, line a little bit here so you can't chase me out. And I'm going to deal with this guy. Dude, get over here. C Nightmare fuel. Could you kill that dude for me? Nightmare fuel. I can't hit this little fucker. There you go. We got him. We got him. Just dodging me. Ooh, we got another um, thingy room here. Whoa. These little symbols to say where they're going to land their shots. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. The explosion's a bit scary, though. We do have another tainted treasure room. I reckon this time it will be quad shot. It is. Shoot six teeters at once. Hell yes. Even more tears. We do get a little bit less fire rate, but even more tears sounds fun to me. Ooh, that's a Dormimic. Oh my god, I forgot about Dormimics. They're finally back. The bane of my existence. 
They have returned. Okay, back up to full poops. Okay, I'm just gonna let. I was just gonna say I was gonna let the poop uh, flies get in there, but I destroyed it immediately for some reason. And then Cloak Baby, hell yes, Alexa's back. Alexa is back. This, what? How was I meant to dodge that? <laughs> what in the shit? Okay, this guy dropped a chest, nice. These enemies are so goofy. I kind of love them. Smaller swamp on taking damage. We don't really need that right now. One of these guys. Shop, what do you have for me? You have the Golem's Rock. Eh, not that good. Poke go, can we do that? It works on shop items? What the hell? We actually did take Poke go and we... Okay, I should have been doing that on all of them. I, it shouldn't work on shop items. I don't know why it does. Pretty awesome. Oh, we got this guy. I really love these enemies. They're really cool. They remind me there's an enemy on um, Diablo that's very similar to that. They, like, climb over the bastions in the castle wall. Glitch Crown. Oh, we got... Is I wonder if Glitch Crown's going to be useful. We might be able to take advantage of it. We can't get in boss rush, so it's not going to be useful for that. I wonder how Polaroid and Negative work with this no, no options damage up thing. We got some level ups here going on. Good. Oh, we will at least get it for the angel deal. Okay, we do get Godhead here. Let's try and be quicker before we lose our their options thing. I don't know how close I am to the item right now. So, Godhead, Stairway, Thing, Scented Candle, Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, Dead Sea Scrolls. Got it. Awesome. So, getting Glitch Crown there was perfectly amazing for us. Also, six shots with Godhead and Herming is going to be so good. We're going to be a huge aura, and we're basically going to be guaranteed to hit them all. That's pretty awesome. Still love this enemy. So damn cool. I love these, like, sort of host enemies. Free trial has expired. Oh, this is this guy. Did, I, I'm not sure. Did he just give me a thumbs up or stick his finger up at me? Oh, damn it. I got hit there. I'm not sure which one of those he did then, but either way, that was pretty funny. Ugh. This is kind of a tricky room here. Because of the purple fires. I could probably cheese it, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god. We do have flights so we can, like, get into the middle and press them. It's a little bit easier. Still, though, that scares me. That sort of room. Chaos Disc. We got two planetarium items out of that. We got... I thought we got Monstro's Lung for a second there. It's just the way that our Herming's working. And we get our damage up again. I really like this damage up item. It's pretty cool. A de a definitely a good, a good like, tainted trade for the item as well. The item that it traded away. I think it's a tainted trade of that. It works. Oh, what the hell? This room's over. What are all these things? Some little babies. We also are a fat boy right now. Big Grimace boys. Oh, we have the scratch cards. They're back. I forgot about them. We did not win. Sadly, we did not win. Okay, these things just like poo out these platelet things just in general throughout the room, whether it's uh, in combat or not. 
Don't really know which way I'm going here. I'd like some of my speed back, please. I'd like to not be fat anymore. Having low speed is giving me the depression. I think we're going the right way here. Our free trial should be just about over right now. Ah, oh, that was a bit bull bullshit. There you go. We're still not doing great on our health. Health has been a, a pretty tragic thing throughout the, the entirety of this run. And it's keeping up. Oh, we didn't get any speed back. That's good. I didn't realize we just had this speed. I thought we were going the right way. It seems that I was completely misguided in that judgment. Also, goofy ass Dominic being goofy ass. Apparently that Dominic's are going to get a big overhaul and update. So they won't be as goofy. I'm looking forward to the update with Ip Ipecac. It's why, I, it's why I want to use it again uh, on this series. I'm really hoping that we can. So far this episode, I've seen the frame rate's gone down a little bit. But like, not as much as I was expecting it to. So it's not so bad, really. I haven't found it that bad at all. Like, it's only in, like, the heat of the moment that it gets bad. Like, walking between rooms and stuff seems to be holding fairly stable. It's not quite 60, but it's it's close. Okay, what do these guys do? Oh, these guys are the ones that drop the uh, other enemy, aren't they? Goddamn, Godhead was such a huge pickup for us. I really should be taking keys as well. I'm not taking any keys right now, and it's a bit of a dumb decision. Right. Secret disc again. We got epic feeters this time. I was not expecting that. Also, six. It fires six. <laughs> I kind of forgot it had fired six. God damn. <laughs> That's hilarious. I would have gone to Hush if I had a little bit more health and a few more keys there, but alas, it is not for us. Also, Cathedral music is by far the most banging music. By far the most banging music in this mod. It's so good. Oh wait, these, these aren't enemies? I mean, they are, but they're not enemies that I have to kill. The music's just so good. Oh, also, we've got um, Pyro. I don't even need to worry about hurting myself with this right now. And also, I, I always forget that herming works with this. It's not like good herming, but it's like a light bit of herming. Just to follow him around a little bit. Dominic being goofy ass again. Oh, hello. My free trial did expire during that, which is a little sad. What on earth is going on right now? Okay, the game crashed. One second. Okay, we are going to have to redo a bit of this floor, but we get Epic Fetus back at least. And we kind of know which way we don't need to go now, which is kind of nice. We can go this way this time. Beautiful. We should probably try and utilize some of this ability to fire multiple bombs to destroy some fires, but... Still got this aura. If anyone can work out what this aura is doing for me, I'd be grateful because I am not sure. I could also bomb through some of these rooms here. Oh, I was going to say I could have done, but no longer. Well, right, let's let's uh, let's switch on my FPS counter now and see how we're doing, shall we? You guys won't be able to see it, but I can. Right, we're holding 55 in a regular big room, which is pretty good. And then in a combat room, we're holding around 45, 50. Which is honestly pretty decent. Like, even in normal Fiendfolia without Ipecac, I was only reaching about 50, 55 in regular rooms this late into a run. So we're really not losing all that much with the setup we've got going on right now. I think it feels a little more sluggish. Wait, oh, oh, this wasn't the right way. Feels a little more sluggish just because I have low speed. Just the 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 thing of having low speed just means that we're uh, kind of oh gosh having low speed just makes it feel like we're playing slower but we're not <laughs> because we don't need to kill these little corner dudes. Also another glitchy ass dom there. 
Oh, I love some of these enemies. They're really like, the, th the theming on them is very bizarre, but at the same time, it's really good. Like, they don't look right at all for the cathedral. Like, they don't, they don't really fit in. But I think because they don't fit in, they fit in. If you know what I mean. It's the, the cathedral is meant to be this place where it's like these holy entities. And I, I feel like them being kind of these, these eyeballs and stuff like that, it kind of fits that whole idea of like the non-traditional angels. Where they don't, we don't really know what they look like. They're a bit bizarre, they're a bit weird. And I think that l lends itself nicely. Is this a boss? I don't know. So yeah, we have no idea where we're going from here. I'm gonna try going down. Okay, we are, we are going this way. I don't know if we'll live through this boss fight, I'll be honest. We've got really, like, decent damage and stuff. But honestly, eh, our health is so pathetic right now that I feel like it could be pretty bad for us. But I guess we'll just try it, shall we? I'm gonna use this and, ooh, we get a devil disc. Ah, we got basically all crap there. Everything we got was useless, pretty much. Angels doing their thing. Get some creep on you. Tried to fear you, but that didn't really work. Oh, what the hell? I, like, ended his phase before it even properly started there. I've never seen that before. Yeah, he's going down fairly quickly. I don't know if creep does much to him, but we're going to place it down anyways. Oh, come on. Got like a pixel of HP, my dude. And he spawned in the creep as well. Beautiful. Okay, we only have three keys right now. Well, there was one back there I could have gone and got, but hey her. Right. Let's see what we get here. Rubber Cement's pretty good. Uh, Ghost Baby's not so good. Cool Shades. Used immediately after killing the time frame for activating, get short after each successful. Now, let's just do that then, shall we? Okay, we do have Book here. And there you go, look. We do have some uh, better boss bars going on. That's really cool. Book's doing his thing. I don't know if we're going to live here. We'll see. One second, guys.